Hello and welcome everybody, this is Joe Searbach, and you're just in time for more of Lizzie Zelda Majora's Mask. So we're going to open up this way, um, in the last episode we did some things back in, uh, uh, Snowhead, back when it was winter, and now that it's spring, we can do some more stuff, um, particularly the stuff that I wanted to get done, um, Real quick here, with the Don Duro's mask, we can use this to talk to the various frogs that we'll see throughout this, um, this clip right here, and it'll talk to you immediately. I've been waiting for you, Don Duro. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Duro, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let's begin our course. Well, that kind of sucked. Fortune seems that all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it's because winter has... Was too long? You must not, must not have realized spring has come to the mountain. When the great Don Duro has come for us, too, what a pity. Where in the world could our other members be, and what could they be doing? Oh, well, we saw a frog pack at Woodfall Temple, but I don't think we'll deal, I don't think we're going to deal with them quite yet. Um, other things right here, we get exposed to a new enemy here when it's springtime. Um, come on, target, there we go. A giant bee. Don't ask me. Either fight or run. It's up to you. Um, they, they aren't going to chase after you very much. And since we don't have a sword, um, we really don't want to deal with them. Um, another thing we want to do, since we have some time to kill, there's one thing I want to get real quick. Um, and, that's a, and that's a powder keg. Um, now I believe we can either go to the... Uh, to where we got... We got one from the Bigoron, um, or we can go into Clock Town. I think I'm going to show you off where Clock Town is. Um, it's actually very easy to find it. I think we've actually been there before, but just in case, you know. Uh, we go into Clock Town. And, uh, because if you remember correctly, the, the Bigoron racetrack is blocked by a rock. So, so you want to find a way to get rid of that. Um, I think you need 100 rupees for that, for this. Um, if not, if more, then I'll just, I'll find a way to grind off screen or something. Because I, kn I know you guys really don't want to see, see me uh, grind for an hour on end. Um, but is it here? Uh, the guy, uh, no, I don't think it's here. Oh, wait, it's in the bomb shop. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think we just went through that then. Because I think he's in the bomb shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Just, um, right here. This guy. I believe we have talked to him. Hello, did you come to buy a power keg? It's just between us, but I... Oh, my product's over. I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even brought it up. I didn't mean to skip to that, but yeah. He sells, he sells powder kegs. If we talk to him as a Goron... Oh, of all places, you're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So, why don't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? Oh, so it's, okay, so it's cheaper than I thought. Uh, you can only hold one powder keg at a time, unfortunately, but uh, you only need two. At most, you'll need two powder kegs to get 100% of the game, I believe, even if you're going for all the hard pieces. Um, you definitely need one to progress through the game, through the game further. Um, uh, shh. Trying to think of anything else. Um, because we're actually almost done with this. There's only one other thing we need to get here. Um, in the mountains, there's actually technically two other things. We'll be getting one in the process of getting the other. So, yeah. Um, anyway, we need, to, we need to have to go on racetrack now. Nah, still not the way to go on racetrack. Um, wow. <laughs> I hope that doesn't become a running joke for me. Um, but anyway, right here. Let's kill this guy. Come on. But No! I got a heart somewhere, so I didn't die. Um, actually... He hit me and I actually gained more life. How'd that work? <laughs> I probably got one from the book. But anyway. <coughs> um, 
Um, you don't need full health to go into here. Uh, but you do need, like I said, you do need a powder keg, so. Um, right there you can see it's green telling us that we can only use the one. Kind of sucks, but. This one has a lower fuse than the other. Uh, than the, uh, one we did for the test. Uh, which. Is kind of weird, but. Oh well. And bam. You did it! Thanks a lot! I'm going right in. I'll be waiting for you, so, I, so you have to come and see. As always, the same thing you said before. Um, the end clip the first night, if you remember, we get our, we get our uh, upgraded sword on the second night. Uh, on the, not the second night, on the first, on the second sunrise. Uh, but right here, what we want to do is we want to turn into a Goron real quick. Because this is the Goron racetrack. Okay. Ah, oh, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? Um, yep. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power is low, charge up with the green jars on the course. Okay, now this is actually this is actually pretty easy to do. When, uh, once you get, get a hold of what the track layout is like, um, just kind of get an idea of where everything is. Uh, it's just to go back a little bit. Oh, it's kind of screwed up there. Uh, but once you spike up, you'll start gaining a lot more speed than the other Goron. Um, and just know, just go towards the green pots whenever you can. Um, and between that, hug the walls. Uh, unlike what I'm doing here, because I'm definitely going to lose now. Um... I think someone just got out. Uh, this part right here with the trees can get really difficult. Uh, just weaving in and out the trees. Uh, we'll, 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 just, we'll make first place, which doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it this run. The hell? Okay. You might also hear that you're hearing kind of a, 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 a remix version of the of the uh, uh, Lon Lon Ranch Race theme when you're facing off against what's his name to get a Pona. Um, I made it in second. No, I didn't. I made. Did I make it in second? To... Yeah, we kind of messed up. Um. Yeah, you can kind of hear that, that racing theme in the background, but it's kind of drowned out by all the, so I, I don't know, I guess soccer horns. <laughs> You're just a little sick because winter was so long. You're not really like this. Remember how good you really are. Then into the races again. Are you ready to, you're, you're going to enter, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> yeah, see, I want to show everyone how Darwin really races. If you're mad at blah, blah, he said the same thing as before. Um... Tries again. What the hell? Okay, that's not fair. You, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, fortunately, we have until at least sunrise uh, to do this. I want, I want to get this done before sunrise, so yeah. It may take me a couple. The hell? Well, that never happened to me before. Okay, this is going to be messed up. I think I've lost this one. Uh, nothing can get really good here in this corner. Um, damn it, he keeps hitting me and knocking me out. Okay, so I think that knocked him out. I uh, don't see anyone else up in front of me. Actually, all I see are people behind me. Uh, the dots are true on the map. Uh, which I'm assuming they are. This one bugger in front of me. There we go. I think I won this one. I think I won. Yes, 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 yes! I think I won this race. Did I? Yes, that was great. I knew you were the fastest go on the army. I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy's a surprise. And we got a bottle of gold dust. This is the finest quality available. It's also our second bottle. 
Oh, me, that's like you, quick. Okay, so right here we got on our inventory, we got some gold dust. That's going to be necessary to get the, uh, well, technically the second strongest in the game, but the first strongest, the, the strongest one in the game is the sea item, uh, primarily because they don't have the, uh, ability to, they don't have the ability to let you select it, like in, uh, Ocarina of Time, take that out of the masks. Um, so yeah. Um, so all that's left now is to wait for, uh, the sunrise. Wait for sunrise right now. Um, which actually we don't have to wait for sunrise, because if you remember, we got a song to do that for us. Um, just let me do some, get up here real quick, just to, ah, uh, get back up here. Okay. And let's get our ocarina. I don't think I've played this song quite yet, but, uh, Okay, so pressing each button twice in a row of the Song of Time will also fast forward time, which I don't think I've shown yet, but I could be wrong. We play the Song of Double Time, and we return to Dawn of the Second Day. And we can just fast forward to that, because that's pretty much the same as when we slow down time, except it just kind of doesn't. Um, anyway, we're on, the sec we're on the second day, yay! Which means our sword should be done, right? It kept you waiting, but it's done, see? Yay, our quarry sword has been strengthened and forged into a razor sword! Which I actually love the way this sword looks. I wish this was the final sword, but it's not. It's just... I had a sword, I had a sword from, like, long ago. It's a, it was a toy little plastic sword that lit up. Oh, crap, things are dropping. It's, like, it's white, and it had, like, a little, uh, bolt at the end of the hill. But other than that, it looked just like this, and I don't know whatever, I don't know what happened to that sword, I stuck it in the bushes of my neighbor's house one day, just kind of store it, thinking I'd, be, I'd come for it the next day and it was gone, it was gone the next hour when I went to look, check on it, <sighs> pissed me off that I can't find that sword anymore, it was good too, I liked it, um, anyway, we've got the razor sword, this new sharper blade has cut, has cut both the rest, without dull, it'll use up to 100 times without dulling its superior edge. Keep in mind that after you use this sign of time, the blade will lose its edge and will return to its original sharpness. And here's a secret. If you bring me gold dust before this sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make you the strongest sword around. Got that? Gold dust. Okay, so, looks like we need to get some gold dust. Um, let's just kind of equip it here. Oh, a customer. Good boy, fetch our customer some coffee quick like. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless... You want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, you'll need gold dust. Do you have any? And we'll go ahead and show our gold dust. Why, if it isn't gold dust, then it's even top quality. Why, even if I use this to reforge your sword, there'll be some left. Alright, just for you, I'll do this for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in now. Straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Ooga, 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 ooga. Okay, so we've lost our sword yet again. Um, so yeah, I didn't even get to show off the razor sword. Uh, I mean, that's okay because we're not gonna be we're not gonna worry too much about that. Um, no, honestly, I don't think there's anything else we can do right now up in the mountains. Um, there's something. There was, actually, there's one. There's at least one thing I can think of that we can do, but I, I want to say that till more towards the end, because that's part of a chain, that's part of a chain quest, um, there you go, <laughs> I was doing it right, is this my butt, my fingers weren't tight, weren't pushing things right, and we, put, we go to Dawn of the Final Day, um, just let you know, there's no way to trick the system and get the, 
the final sword on the for, on the uh, second day. You go back in time, and the razor edge returns to normal. Uh, I believe if you go back in time now, your sword returns to normal as well, pretty much uh, screwing your chances of getting a good sword. Unless uh, you could win, you could win the race again. I think you get the gold dust again, but you don't get it after you get this upgraded. And we have the razor sword has now been strengthened. Now it's the gilded sword. Newly forged, your sword is better than ever and will never break. Here it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, you'll never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I used most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit of stuff, so I got rid of it for you. <laughs> if I got ready, means put it in some good... Uh, means wasted in stock. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, our, hill, our uh, sword hill is a little bigger now. In addition, so is our sword. It's a little longer. And... Now I know this is a bad example, it's a little stronger. Um... So yeah, let me see, uh... You know what? Let me think, uh... Try to think, I think that's all that I can think to do right now. So yeah, actually, uh... You know what? That'll be the end of the episode. So yeah, in the next episode we'll be restarting the the day night the whole day cycle again on day one. We'll be going into the uh, so the uh, western yeah the western ocean. Until then, I'll see you guys later.